Nelson Kodak Company is happy to bring you America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. They enjoy good times together. And like most of us, they save their good times in pictures, especially at Christmas. I'm sure all of us enjoy having Christmas pictures. So this year, why don't you enjoy a give and take Christmas? Give a Kodak gift to those you love so they can take pictures they'll always treasure. It's a good way to make this the happiest holiday season you'll ever remember. And now Kodak invites you to enjoy The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. There's room for bathhouses over here. And a little later on, we can add a cocktail bar here. Well, we can't have a cocktail bar in a fraternity house, can we? The point is, we can't have this pool either. It's too big. Well, if we're going to have a swimming pool, we might as well have a big one. The backyard isn't big enough for a pool this size. Well, I got an idea. Why don't we tear down a fraternity house and just build one big pool? <laughs> well, wait a second, you guys. I designed this pool for a 12-story hotel. Well, what did you show it to us for? I just want to show you what good work I can do. Fine. If I decide to build a 12-story hotel, I'll call you. Well, how big is our fraternity pool going to be? Let's hear from the engineering department. Well, we've been kind of figuring this thing out here, and the biggest pool we can build is 20 by 40. That is, if you don't mind stepping out of the dining room into the pool. Isn't that a little close? It's too big a temptation to throw paper napkins into it. So we can make it a little narrower. Maybe a long, thin pool. Can we interrupt this meeting? Oh, no, don't get up, fellas. Oh, as long as you've got food with you, you can interrupt anything. I'll take one and pass them. Oh, thank you. Okay, take two and pass them. <laughs> I love it. Gee, Mr. Nelson, you didn't have to do this. Oh, anything to make you prospective pool owners happy. That's okay, Pop. We would have invited you to go swimming anyway. Oh, really? Give me those cooks back. <laughs> How's the plan coming along? Oh, fine. We should break ground tomorrow. Oh, good. That'll give me just time enough to patch up my water wing. <laughs> Got anything pretty well organized? Pretty well. The college maintenance department said they were going to lend us all their digging equipment. Well, what about the concrete and the steel and all the rest of that stuff? Well, the engineering department's taking care of that end of it. Wasn't well, it going to cost an awful lot? Well, we're going to do most of the work ourselves, and the alumni set up a pool fund a few years ago. We can use that money. Oh. Well, lots of luck, fellas. If you strike oil, cut me in on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Nelson. And we want you to feel free to come over any time and bring your bathing suit and some more of these cookies. <laughs> Good night. Good night, fellas. and planning, it looks as if our fraternity swimming pool is at long last going to become a reality. And to help us with this groundbreaking ceremony, direct from the Rivoli Follies, Miss Bonnie Havenhurst. Hey! Hey! I feel highly honored that I've been chosen for this auspicious occasion. I'm sorry that the Dean of Men will not allow me to do my specialty act here this afternoon. <laughs> Come down to the Rivoli and see the show. <laughs> Meanwhile, good luck to you in your swimming pool and, and to all the members of the frat house. <laughs> oh, thank you. Where will I start digging? Right over here. is pretty hard. Allow me, maybe I can help. Oh, thank you. The ground is kind of hard. Stand back, fellas. Let me see if I can get this started. Oh, oh this ground is as hard as a rock. Maybe we should have rented a steam shovel. Kidding? You know how much it costs to rent a steam shovel? Well, what time are we going to break for lunch? Let's get some work done first. Hey, how much is the plumber going to charge to fix that broken water pipe? I don't know, but whatever it is, we can't afford it. Hey, how deep does this hole have to be? Ten feet at one end and four feet at the other. And 20 feet wide and 40 feet long? That's right. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we change this into a badminton court? <laughs> well, let's start digging, will you? Well, I think we ought to quit now before we damage the yard beyond repair. Look, do you want to swim in this pool when it's finished? Of course. I helped dig it, didn't I? Not so far. <laughs> well, I still say it's time for lunch. Oh, hi, Miss Nelson. Hi, fellas. 
Would you like to go for a swim? Uh, yeah, as soon as you finish the pool. Pick up a shovel and wade in? <laughs> I hate to say this, but it doesn't look like you guys made much progress, have you? You're not kidding, boy. This ground is like rock. You mean this rock is like ground? <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to use a steam shovel. Well, the college wouldn't lend us theirs, and we couldn't afford to rent one. Nothing in the budget for it, huh? Who knows? Has anybody seen the budget? We don't actually have one yet. I move we break for lunch, and after that, we discuss the budget. I hate to admit it, but for once, I agree with you. Okay, fellas, lunch. <laughs> I don't get it. It seems like an awful lot of money. Well, there are a lot of things you guys didn't figure on. Does that take into consideration the fact that we're going to do all the work? Yeah, for a pool that size, you need a lot of concrete, steel reinforcing, builder, heater, diving board, decking. According to these figures, I don't think we're saving anything by building the pool ourselves. Very little. Well, then why don't we have a regular pool company build it? It probably wouldn't cost us any more, and we wouldn't have to do all the work. I nominate Ricky Nelson for president. <laughs> There's only one catch having a pool company do it. We'd have to lay out a lot of money. Well, even if we do it ourselves, we'll have to pay cash for the concrete, steel reinforcing, all the material. Well, what about the fund the alumni set up? There's not enough money in that to build a bird bath. Does anybody have any suggestions? Anybody except Wally, that is? Hey, I resent that. Do you deny it? No, but I resent it. <laughs> <laughs> I must be out of sync or something. Well, it was a beautiful thought, but obviously it doesn't make any sense for us to build the pool ourselves. Yeah, I'm afraid you're right. Well, why don't we finish the digging and then turn it over to a pool company? W what about the money? Well, that's our problem. We need about $500 more for a down payment. How do we raise it? Why don't we borrow it from our dads? Now, if I suggested that, you'd have me thrown out. Hey, Dave. Yeah? Your father's treasure of the men's club. Maybe he could give us some suggestions. You mean about how to raise the money? Yeah. Well, we can't ask him how to put the bite on somebody and then turn around and bite him. Uh, oh, wait a minute now. I think Fred's got a good idea. Wouldn't hurt to ask him. Well, make sure you're subtle about it. Don't let them know what we're up to. Why not? Well, your father knows my father, and your father, and your father. If you aren't careful, you could stampede the herd. <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep trying. Uh, what do you mean a financial snag, Dave? Well, after we got everything figured out, we realized it would be more sensible to get a pool company to do the job. So now we need some money for a down payment. Well, uh, can't you hit the alumni up for some more money? Not without a lot of arm twisting. If you were going to ask a group of people for money, Pop, how would you do it? I mean, would you write them a letter or phone them or what? Well, no, I think the most important thing to remember is, is to hit them all at once and use a little harmless subterfuge. For instance, uh, we have a special meeting of the men's club tonight with refreshments and football films. But what the members don't know is that we're going to lock the doors and windows and hit them up for a donation for the new scholarship fund. You've got to use a little harmless trickery. Yeah, sounds like a good idea, Pop. Hey, we can figure out something like that. David. Uh, yeah, Mom? The boys are here. Come on in, boys. Oh, uh, thanks, Mom. Hi, fellas. Uh, thanks a lot for the advice, Pop. Yeah, oh. thanks, Pop. Any time at all, fellas. And the main thing is to hit them all at once. Use a little harmless trickery. That makes sense. Yeah, that's easy to say, but how are we going to get them all together? Now, wait a minute, fellas. This isn't right. What do you mean? Well, all we ever think about is what we can get out of our fathers, and not what we can do for them. I mean, when you're in school, you forget about Dad and what a great guy he is, and all the things he's done for you. What are you getting at, Wally? Well, I think we ought to do something to show our appreciation. I suggest we have a father's night at the fraternity. Hey, that's a good idea, Wally. Only I think we ought to call it Dad's night. It has a nicer sound to it. Yeah, yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, we could give them a real good steak dinner. Now you're talking with apple pie a la mode. And then we pass out the cigars, and while they're sitting there laughing and enjoying themselves, all of a sudden, pow, we hit them up for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Miss Good night, boys. Good night, 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 Boy, it's just beginning to hit me. What's the matter? All that digging I did. Oh, quit faking. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, if I can get out of bed. <laughs> How's the meeting go, fellas? You get your financial problems all straightened out? Well, not yet, but we have some constructive ideas. Oh, good. Oh, before I forget, Pop, you're invited to Dad's night next week. Friday night. Dad's night? Yeah, at the fraternity. No, we got to think how much fun it would be to have a father and son dinner. You know, steaks, pie a la mode, cigars, all that stuff. What do you say, Pop? Oh, yeah, that, that, that sounds great. You, you can count on me. I, I'd, I'd like to go. Oh, good. Come on, Rick.
Harriet, did you hear that? Yes, I did. How about that? Dad's night. It's kind of nice to know the boys think of the old man once in a while. Yes, it is. 